Hey there and welcome to a Sony Vegas tutorial by Techtopia. This tutorial was requested by Himmy was here and today we're going to be looking at uh, adjusting how bright or dull your video is. So uh, I've, I am of course talking about like brightness and contrast and levels and stuff. I'm going to show you how you can adjust these settings. So right here I've already imported a gameplay clip into my timeline. I'm playing Doom here and you might notice that if I play it it's uh, quite dark. And uh, we're going to make it a bit brighter and just a bit more vibrant and vivid, if you will. So I'm going to go to my video effects tab. And now, here's what uh, I see most people doing. They go to their video effects tab, brightness and contrast. They drag one of the presets. I'm just going to drag reset to none here. And they just play around with everything until it looks good. And uh, this is an acceptable method. These settings are looking all right right here. I'm going to have the brightness at 0.15 the contrast at 0 0.30 and the contrast center can be 0 0.55 and that's actually not that good how about we try something else here let's bump up our brightness lower our contrast center and just push up our contrast a bit of course it varies for every single clip but these settings are looking Alright, let's try brightness 0.16, contrast 0.31, and contrast center 0.52. And uh, here's the result we have. Now I'm going to show you a before and after shot. Here's what it looks like before uh, when we had no filters added. And uh, with those uh, settings that I just inputted, uh, that's what we have now. So it's a slight result. It's nothing really uh, bold or anything, but it, it's pretty nice. But I'm going to show you a way that you can enhance the brightness of your video without doing it this way. If you're doing it this method, it's uh, very picky and you got to be very precise. But if you do it this way, it's uh, much easier. But uh, you don't have as much control, but I still find it better. We're going to go to our video effects tab and we're going to scroll down to levels and just drag uh, brighten onto our clip. And there you go, it looks a lot better. You can even um, create your own preset here. Uh, if we put this input end and we lower it to about yeah, about 410. It brightens it up a bit. Then we can increase our gamma a bit. I'm just going to leave it, or I'll put it up a bit. Then we can have input start, but I like to leave that at zero. Output start, uh, yeah, again, just leave it like that. So here's my settings. Input start at zero, input end at 0 0.410, output start at zero, output end at one, and gamma at 1.119. We can actually save this as a preset by going up here to preset. And we just, we can call this like, you know, Tectopia Brightness for Doom or something like that. Hit the floppy disk icon, and now uh, anytime we want to do that, let me just remove this preset here. And now it's uh, what it was like from the original at the beginning. Now there's that preset there, Tectopia Brightness for Doom. If I click and drag it onto my thing, it already puts in the settings. So here's a before and after shot. Here's what it looks like when we had nothing, and uh, here's what it looks like now. As you can see, it looks a lot better. Uh, the colors are easier to see, and it just looks more appealing. It's brighter, it's better. But depending on the scene, all the settings will vary, so you can just mess around with that and create your own preset if you like. But that's basically it for brightness and contrast. Thank you for... Uh, Himmy was here for requesting the tutorial. If you guys want to request a, tor a tutorial, just send me a message, and I'll try and uh, get it done. But no guarantees, but I'll do my best. But anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, have fun and take care.